What's up guys, back in another video again. Today I'm going to be doing a video review of the Predator 2 inch 212cc semi trash water pump. Um, I bought this at Harbor Freight. Uh, I wouldn't say it wasn't recent, it was quite a while ago, but since I got a new phone now, it's quite easy to do uh, video reviews because uh, the memory doesn't fill up super quick as it did with the other one. Um, I'm down here at the river again. Originally, this is kind of ironic. This is the same place that I came to to film the uh, other pump video I did quite a while ago about the Harbor Freight 12 volt uh, transfer pump. So, and that's also my most uh, my most popular video on my channel. So, hopefully, this catches up with that one soon enough. Um, <clears throat> I ended up buying the 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 hoses that came with it separately. I, this is a two inch pump, so I bought the two inch hoses of course, obviously, and uh, each one of these hoses, this, uh, the red one I'm unfolding here, the, the collapsible flex hose was, um, is only 25 feet, and it cost me about, I don't know, maybe $50, if that much, probably less, I actually have the magazine right here so I could show you it, um, let's go ahead and skip to where the pump is in the magazine, I just got the, uh, the hose over there just sitting in the the river as it is right now. Nothing. I'm not really too worried about the the hose getting dragged away because this um, that haven't happened to me before. And I was trying to uh, demonstrate this is that the uh, the hose kept getting pulled away by the, the water. But uh, let's see if we can find this pump in here really quick. Mm, now we're in air tools. Where the hell is the damn pump at? Well, anyway, I don't know where it is exactly, but I know that the it cost around two hundred dollars, almost three hundred, and I had a, a coupon for it, so I got it much cheaper, which was uh, definitely I would definitely recommend get using the coupon when you're trying to get it because it is pretty damn expensive by itself. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so next I'm gonna go through ahead the starting starting procedure. I've already put the hose in the water, obviously, and I've already primed the pump, so you can see how the water look uh, dripping out the side of it. Um, this is a self-priming pump. This is this uses a semi-closed impeller. I've taken it apart and I've looked at it already. Semi-closed impeller, aluminum uh, aluminum casing with a cast iron volute. And then basically the rest is just all aluminum, including the engine block. Actually, the engine is equipped with a low oil shutdown. Which is common for these uh, these Honda clone motors, so it's not exactly like it's going to be much of a selling point because every every engine has that nowadays. But um, low oil shutdown holds about like a, it's almost almost a gallon of fuel, not but not uh, exactly standard. Everything else is on it. It's standard of a Chinese Honda clone. Uh, except for the spark plug, I did change the spark plug out from the uh, the Torch brand spark plug and put a, a Champion uh, Eco Clean spark plug in there. It works just as just as fine. Uh, I originally bought this pump to fill up my water cart because the pump I had previously just took way too damn long to fill it. The uh, it had a 55 gallon drum that would sit up there where that cart is, and then I bring the pump down here. And then have a, a cord running up to a small generator, the very the very same generator I did in the previous video. Um, and it just it just took way too damn long to fill up the water the the tank. So then I thought, oh, let's get a two inch trash pump. That'll be just fine, I guess. I got this, and then my uh, my uncle's pool ended up flooding with a bunch of mud. So I had a perfect opportunity to use this thing to its full capacity, really. And I sucked it out. It drained pretty quick. Um, now, mind you, this is a semi-trash pump, so this will not handle, uh, you know, this won't handle big rocks or stones or even some um, some semi-solid debris such as leaves. But um, whatever, basically, whatever can fit through the screen, uh, it'll pump. Here's a screen right here. There's the screen. So whatever will fit in those holes, it'll pump. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started for you real quick make sure all my my plugs are all nice and tight and we'll go ahead and get this started this should start in the first pull as uh, most of these Honda these Predator engines 
do. They're pretty reliable as much as everyone gives them shit. And I did, I did already change the oil and broke it in or anything like that. I got this, like I said, I got this a while ago and I'm only just now getting around to a review. So it should start in about the first pull. Look at that. I guess I'll leave the choke on for a little bit more. Let's rev it up so we can get it primed. There we go, it's already starting to prime. And it's full of air right now, that's why it's just trying to burp it out basically. I go ahead and try it anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add just a little bit more water and we'll see if that helps her situation. Because there, it does have a check valve on it. However, that check valve doesn't work perfectly. It does weep water, so you gotta basically fill it up and then immediately put. Uh, oh, that's full of water. It should work just fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fill it up anymore. That should be just fine. It's just trying to get the uh, the water over that little bend in the pipe that's the problem uh, also this is a RS uh, pump housing for the, any of those who are questioning right there RS castings I can't uh, I can't find anything about the pump about that the actual pump section um, other than I know that RS makes uh, basically just make castings I'll choke it again it's not warm yet There we go. That's the air. And there's the water. Also, other thing to keep to, to note, this pump has a, a 90 foot has 90 feet of total head. Uh, head being the uh, the distance the water the the pump will actually pump water. So it's got a 90 a 90 foot head, roughly, and about 20 26 feet of suction lift. So you have to take that into account when you're going to be using it for something. So if you wanted to pump it up higher, you're going to have to you know run a longer suction line to the uh, to the pump to get the full the full head height. But it moves quite a bit of water. This would be great for uh, you know pumping out like say a ditch or something like that or possibly some flooded area, such as in my case with my uh, my uncle. But you can see it's that's even even at idle, you know, that's quite a significant amount of water. And if I could get the the specifications off that the uh, the sheet, I would tell you how much uh, water it actually does pump, but I can't find it on this damn thing. I know it was close to the end. Let's try this again. Look at that, all, all these coupons. Yeah. This is some people that are going to be looking through this video trying to get the uh, coupon numbers. There it is. That's what I got. No, that's not what I got. That's what I got right there. 91 foot of, of uh, total head with a 20 foot 26 foot suction lift and 158 gallons per minute, which is quite impressive. And of course, if you get the um, the larger three inch pump, you're going to get a lot more than that. And that's the hose I bought right there, sixty dollars, and the, the suction hose. Uh, it was pretty close to that same price for the yeah. There it is sixty bucks for the suction and then thirty bucks for the uh, discharge. It's not too bad. It's about what you pay basically anywhere for uh, hoses. There comes all the water, just now getting to me. I'll go ahead and bring the RPMs back up again. And 
also surprisingly isn't too loud either. I've already got a rip in the hose. Got to repair that. See it right there, weeping out the side. Yeah, moves a ton of water. Absolute ton of water. much else I can say to, about it other than I am uh, very 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 pleased with it and also if we're gonna be running um, small engines like this small equipment uh, a good a good rule of thumb or a good recommendation I would tell you is uh, just when you're mixing the gas just add just add a little bit of a uh, two-stroke oil it, uh, it'll end up saving your engine in the long run in terms of a uh, cylinder wear because that's one thing I've learned with these these uh, cast iron sleeve motors is that they um, they tend to, to score really easy and just having just a bit of uh, extra lubrication never help, never hurt anybody I mean hell I would even use like maybe like 60 or 50 to 1 uh, premix and it would run just fine off that and I've already taken I've already taken the cylinder head off and checked out make sure there's not enough carbon not a lot of carbon build up and it runs just fine it's pretty clean so yeah if you've got something you need to pump out, you got some, or if you want to possibly have just a flood prevention, make sure you got some kind of backup in case your basement goes to flood. Uh, I definitely recommend picking one of these up. This is, uh, I think it's just quite a good buy. Um, also, one thing of note, this is a uh, nice kind of uh, paint job that's got on it. You know, just to make sure it batters against the, uh, the elements. And also, there's rubber feet on it so it doesn't, you know, shake itself to pieces. Um... So yeah, if you guys need a pump, uh, I definitely would take. I'd give a look at this one. I'd I'd check this one out if you guys are really in need of a pump for some kind of a project or something you guys are doing. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. You guys really don't need to do any of that stuff, but it helps me out a lot. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Hopefully, being another review. Take care, guys.